Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> A lot of you guys. Surf and spoon. Wow. Are you from the East Coast? Yeah, from North Carolina. Alright, cool. Uh, say hi to Jesse for me. How you guys doing? Yeah, alright. From England, yeah. A couple of you. There's gotta be somebody from England here. Come on. Where? Jersey? Not New Jersey. <laughs> Germany. I've had something from India. Holland. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are from everywhere. <laughs> so, Winston? So how many countries do you think Switchfoot have uh, played in over the years? It's a good question. A lot. 33 Drew, Drew has an answer. It's 30, 33 countries. Did you just make that up? Yeah, we do a thing. We do a thing called Drew or False. <laughs> so it's not it's really good. I say False. You guys have this side. Is it Drew or False? I believe it. I, 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 don't, I don't believe it. Drew doesn't false. really mean true. It could, it could mean whatever you want. Yeah. So, uh, in your travels, uh, you, you've been here before. So we want to know what you think about. Uh, English chocolate. <laughs> well, Drew actually. Okay. He's a connoisseur. He, you were carrying one on the way here. He was eating it five minutes well, ago. What, what were you eating? Field. What was it, you know? Uh, what are the ones in catering? The little ones? The uh, little ones. This big? Divine. Yes. Yeah, it was divine dark chocolate. I like the dark chocolate. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Because, you know, I would imagine you could probably write a decent blog or, a, a, you know, a decent book about, you know, confectionery we have consumed backstage at gigs. <laughs> Drew's working on it now. Drew or false? Drew or false? <laughs> okay, so the first time I came across you, you were but a three-piece uh, opening up for Delirious on that tour. And I was very impressed because you knew who St. Augustine and, uh, and Kierkegaard was when we were talking and uh, I don't know who they are now but yes. <laughs> back then you were you know you were very passionate about all that kind of stuff and those things really have kind of influenced the direction of the band over the years something tell us about that um it's I mean I love reading and I, I think that it's comforting to realize that many people throughout the ages have asked the questions why are we here and and to, to read somebody who's far more intelligent than I am answer those questions feels comforting as well then to, to kind of bring that into a song feels like uh, a way of, of kind of co-conspiring with this this original thought you know so is there any danger that you might be too clever for your own good <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Leave it to a brother to keep you humble. <laughs> that is the true or false? That's probably true. <laughs> so tell me about honing the impact of the band over the years, because you've gone through different phases and you've gone through different stages of what you're trying to do. So uh, tell me about where you're at currently. Ah, oh, um, well, we, you know. The idea of playing rock and roll as like your day job is is a crazy thought, you know. And so, we are always looking for ways to use what we've been given to to have more than just a you know bar chords and three minute rock songs, you know. So this in in a you know last a couple of years ago we put out a movie and that was our way of doing it. So we put out Fading West to kind of give people a glimpse backstage. As, maybe a little bit deeper as to who we are and what we do. And then this year we're really proud to announce that we're opening up a music school in our hometown that's uh, going to be Bro-Am Studios. Because, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're excited about that. And the, the concept is that, you know, music was always this thing that we could we could go to and, and it felt like um, it allowed us to figure out ways to enunciate our faith and our doubts and all of these things and to be able to pass that on to the next generation feels like an important thing so we're gonna it's gonna be pay what you can it's a non-profit music school in our hometown 
So at, at, the, at the back there, there's a, a desk for you to sign up. <laughs> yeah, you're all invited. Especially if you're from France. Yes. <laughs> Come to California. We'll teach you to play. <laughs> when, when's that going to open? Uh, this summer around our uh, annual surf contest and concert charity event called the bro Amp. And uh, that's in July. And uh, yeah, it's a cool event that we started 11 years ago, just a little community event on the beach to give back to to the uh, the, the kids really who are uh, you know on the street at, at risk and, and uh, you know homeless and and uh, it's grown it's just, it's a huge event now and, and we've got a bunch of people involved in, in playing at the event need to breathe is going to play this year and, and uh, a bunch of surfers and it's all for a good cause there is uh, a com an idea of the band being all things to all people you you out there trying to make songs that everybody can grab hold of and uh, relate to. That's kind of how you're writing songs, isn't it, now? No, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not writing songs that can be that can be grabbed hold of by everybody? I think, I mean, that, that sounds nice, but, you know, we're not for everyone. You know, I think there's there's going to be people that love you and, and people that don't get it, you know, and... and uh, uh, I think, you know, for, for us realizing that God has a specific purpose for us and trying to fulfill that purpose, rather, to the, it feels like, to, to try and um, to dumb it down, dither it down, to become something that everyone can understand. Sometimes you lose the heart of it. So, you know, I think for us, usually it starts with believing in what you're saying first. You know, if the five of us love the song, then it's like, oh, well, Let's keep playing it. If we if we feel like that's the heart of who we are, then that maybe matters more than trying to second guess what the rest of the world thinks. How hard is it to uh, produce a set list these days? Because you've got so much material. <laughs> and do you, yeah. do you do you fight about it at backstage? Ah, uh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> it doesn't matter what set list we make. John always changes it during. The show. <laughs> always wrong that's the thing you're like this is the best this is it here it is if like literally first song it's <laughs> totally wrong doesn't matter what you play it's going to be great worse than that you could do you could do for mini songs in the wrong key that would be kind of uh, interesting as well we do that from time to time as well <laughs> okay because there's so many of you here I, i'm gonna open it up i'm gonna take a uh, you want to ask a question okay shout Okay, let me just repeat that. That is a question about how you maintain on the road purity as you've got a big crowd of people following you around. Well, as, as you saw earlier, Tim is really good at um, <laughs> you know keep, keeping that brotherly correction happening and, and really we're all a family and, and brothers and, and I'm really thankful for these guys you know I wouldn't want to do this alone and and we have the support of our, our incredible families our wives and, and, our, and our kids supporting and believing in what we do and, and um, without them and without that community um, it wouldn't happen but it's a very real question like we were talking last night like it's it's a it, what an incredibly odd <coughs> occupation to make people clap for a living, you know? <laughs> and to go up on stage and have people, like to walk into a room and have people really cheer for you. For I mean, <laughs> give us a mic, we could say anything. We're really loose cannons up here. You know? <laughs> and, and so, um, I feel like that, you know, C.S. Lewis talks about how you can never, never think about that and take that lightly, you know, and I, I definitely take that question very serious because we're capable of, as humans, capable of really great things, but we're all capable of completely dumb moves at any point, you know, so there's nothing that we're above or below, we're just, just like anyone in here, you know. Okay, another question. When are you going back to the UK? <laughs> when are you coming back to the UK? <laughs> <laughs> I left yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, give us a, give us a place to to stay, and we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> One bedroom, three kids. <laughs> 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 Might be 
bit cozy, but anyway, kind of, yeah, it's good to that. So do you get tired of songs that you sing a lot, or how do you keep them fresh? Um, fortunately, we never wrote songs about uh, relationships with girls that didn't end up working out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like I have friends that they have wrote a song that they hate because it reminds them of this person that they used to really get along with. And um, for, for, I, we're, I think we're really fortunate that the songs that people want us to play are songs that we really are still passionate about. Yeah. One more. Uh, you in the middle. Yeah, um, I, maybe one little, little less serious question. Um, there's this song we really like, and that's called Gone. And there's like, in the intro, there's one view. And uh, a couple of us feel like it's that switch for it. Switch, switch, switch. switch. <laughs> <laughs> and we really want to know whether that's true or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I love hip hop, and hip hop, they, they, kind of, they put their name in the front, the middle, the end, you know. Um, and I, I thought that'd be pretty cool if we did that. <laughs> so my, my buddy left a message on my answering machine, and um, and so I just sampled it, and that's him, like leaving a crazy message on my, my machine. It's 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 all him, yeah, screaming into my phone. Oh. <laughs> Like a, a plectrum. Yeah. yeah. Drew, do you have any plectrums? Woo! <laughs> I think I got one. Tim's got one. <laughs> no, it doesn't have anyone's face on it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's see how this works. Like a uh, <laughs> Sorry about your eye. Yeah. <laughs> one of my listeners on Dawn is convinced that you sing Al Pacino's Cat. In the, uh, in the fade out. I'm not above that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we are out of time, so uh, switch fit. Uh, Give him a round of applause. Thank you.